We have multiple functions. Uh, we have a, a joint operations center that's, that's up and running. And uh, right now, our, our main function is to assist in uh, maybe any intelligence that would come through and to vet that intelligence through our cooperating uh, partners here, being state, local, uh, other federal agencies. So those are the things that we're, we're trying to do, is to make sure that uh, any threat that may come out there is addressed. The Secret Service is, is mandated to implement and design security for a national special security event. And the way we do that is by uh, forming partnerships, uh, going to Pittsburgh and dealing with all the local uh, state and federal police, all the, all the uh, entities that would have a jurisdiction involved, that's who we deal with. Um, now, again, I can't really speak about the exact numbers uh, of personnel, but I can tell you that uh, in forming um, this, this, uh, these partnerships, we have 21 different uh, subcommittees that are looking at all the uh, all the different issues uh, involved with coordinating security for events such as this. So, without naming them all, I can tell you we have a hazmat subcommittee, we have a credentialing subcommittee, airspace security subcommittee. We try to look at all the different uh, potential scenarios that could uh, could occur, and and we try to uh, make sure that we are prepared. For them. There will be restrictions, uh, and and there will be inconveniences at certain points. But we try to. Um, we work with the city and state and local police and make sure that um, we, we make a small footprint as possible, but there's undoubtedly going to be some, uh, some inconveniences. Um, airspace security is going to be restricted. There's no doubt about that. That occurs whenever the president or vice president travels somewhere or when we have an event uh, in this, of this scope, we, we restrict uh, the airspace. We have an awful lot of uh, uh, information that can be displayed on the monitors. We also have, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, security cameras that have been, uh, uh, you know, are, are put around the city and around the region that we have immediate access to. You mentioned when we came in that you still have the responsibility of dealing with something that may happen outside of this event. That's correct. How do you coordinate, uh, you know, monitoring things with the G20 but being prepared for something else? And we've created an entire uh, different operations center to deal with the day-to-day -day things right now, and it's staffed and has been staffed around the clock, not only to uh, back up on this, but also to deal with um, anything that falls outside of G20. Right now, what we're looking at is a, is a pretty safe environment right now, and that, uh, uh, of course, we're, we have assets on the ground. We're, we're co-located with other uh, state, federal, local uh, public safety personnel to make sure that everything stays safe.